I should have quit while I was ahead. Um, I've already got a couple of these uh, weird, kind of rare, uh, Linko LR1 boxes. Um, uses four or six GK6s. Um, um, even though they're a Linko, they look home built, like somebody made uh, made them in their garage or something, and you know uses uh, like a a literal pill bottle that they wind the um, plate choke around literally pill bottle um, and also on I've done a couple videos on this LR one weird little amp where you know uh, tune and low are on this side here along with your um, on light and off light however power switch and circuit breaker are along the uh, long side there and your coax is um, along here so what what is the front of this amplifier I don't know but anyway if I went off on them before but uh, and I've had enough of those things but when I see something unique I don't have weird something that's hard to find like this Alinko Long Ranger which is almost no information on on the net it's like okay uh, tram doctor wants it so I can see what's inside and lift up the skirts and go through it and see what it's made of even though I don't think highly of this Linko LR1 to say the least with all kind of weird setups and shortcuts and stuff that I don't like but I still had to have this Linko Long Ranger I mean it's it's a better looking profile anyway with the box at least all the um, switches and knobs and tuners are on the front and you know the regular coax and plug and and all that in on the back and nothing crazy on the sides you know going on so and I didn't pay a ton of money for this I paid more than I'd like to but you know when you want something hey you got to pay the money and that's something that uh, uh, a lot of people don't want to do you know they want something for nothing but anyway um, I think I kind of regret this one, but at least I didn't pay a lot and I can be satisfied in my mind of what it is and all that other. So it is basically a two tube grounded grid amplifier. Basically, uh, it's got its own perks and wit weirdness. It's got a lot of those. Um, but anyway, the uh, tubes are 35 LR6, 35 volt filaments. And I'm like, uh oh, usually when I see um, high voltage filaments on tubes, that means they run the tubes right to the tube filament right to the mains. They don't use a uh, filament transformer. And even before I dove into it, judging at the size of this transformer, I'm thinking, yep, that don't run the filaments. So I could find zero information on this amplifier. So I reverse engineered and uh, made a schematic before I dove into it. I reverse engineered this a hand print quick schematic with my uh, scrabble on it and uh, yep sure enough the filaments voltage is taken right off the mains and the uh, two actually all three tubes are in series but the 235 uh, volt filament tubes are in series that's 70 of your volts and then that's a uh, 6 aq 5 so that's only uh, 76 volts so what do they use to drop the rest of the voltage that dropping resistor right there um, so the filament you know the AC starts at the uh, filament of that tube goes to that tube goes to your dropping resistor that drops that voltage even some more and then through your little 6 aq 5 keying tube and then uh, into the other uh, AC so that's how they get filament out of this I hate that that's kind of dangerous um, you know people tell me you know hey it works the designers did it and it works I'm like yeah it works but it's a shortcut cheap way to do it and somebody keep asking me well why did they do it then well you know they're trying to make money so they could do it for cheap instead of getting a transformer this is, you know, part of that schematic I wrote out. So instead of getting a transformer with a filament widening, 
which I erased here because I was assuming that it's got, you know, another winding besides the high voltage, but it doesn't. They just take the AC, you know, one leg coming in here into the tubes and then through that resistor, through the other tube, and then going out and back around and over here. So they take it right off the line. So, you know, again, people say, yeah, it works. Now, mind you, they got um, the power switch on one leg of the AC and the fuse on the other, and it's not polarized. And people are like, well, it's fused. Okay, what happens if this amplifier, you got the power switch on, and this tube here decides to have a filament short to ground, right? You're going to have a very hot, if hot live chassis, you know, dangerous. Dangerous as heck, you know, because this line is not fused at all. And again, if that shorts to ground, you're basically shorting your AC to ground with no fuse. Very dangerous stuff, you know, that can, can and does happen. You know, with amplifiers. That's why you always want a everything to be isolated. Um, another quirk I had with this amplifier, I was very yakking it up. And I'm like, I'm not getting nothing out of it. Um, um, and come to find out, did some tracing and all this other things. And I should have known better because I have a problem. You know, I'm partly autistic and I have a problem with literal and non-literal and all that other stuff. AC off is up. AC on is down. So when I was plugged it in and was doing my initial testing, I had it in the up position because 99.9% .9 of everything you see, at least in America, up is on, down is off. But not so here. AC, um, your power, up is off, down is on. Let's see, that was a little, little quirk that got me for a minute. Um, on this quirky little amplifier um, it's got received gain so it's, it's bilateral has a receive preamp um, and it's also kind of a rust bucket you know you see the surface rust on there uh, we cleaned up the tubes and the pins on all that because um, we did power this up but we quickly came to an end with that because it used a um, voltage doubler in the power supply and we placed those caps and we were wondering why did it use um, two 450 volt um, caps in series per leg um, which would be basically 1800 volts worth of um, caps and I'm like that's an awful lot for a sweet tube amp so this is a simple voltage doubler of this amp and um, other than the weird filament and the also the weird um, always on preamp. I know that wiring is not going to make any sense to you, but that's that twisty, turny in and out. In goes to out. You know, normally in goes to. Um, I'm sorry. Normally closed on the end goes to normally open and vice versa. That weird twix, twisty X pattern here on the. Um, relay uh, which basically runs the amp as a preamp all the time as soon as you turn it on uh, it just writes routes to power and use the um, tubes as a preamp all the time however if it's um in line and not plugged in and on you're going to get nothing um, because it's routing everything through the tubes right weird weird little amp and that's the um, schematic i wrote out but we aren't even going to go through that right now. Actually, I made this video. It's grounded grid. It's up for the screen grid. They put a little bit of bias through a zener there. And um, we haven't even fig figured out the voltage of that zener. But other than that, it's basic amp. Um, plate blocking caps. Tune and load. Uh, tank coil. And there, the only other weird thing about that, that receive gain goes on the input side of that too but anyway why I made this video is I need some help I can't find any schematic on this guy and when I fired this thing up through the variac um, I got 1400 volts on the plate of this amplifier now does this thing really supposed to run on 1400 volts DC on the plate on a um, basically a 6LF6 tubes a substitute which is the 6LR6 1400 
you know, even Makos, I've seen a thousand, eleven hundred. You know, uh, uh, Black Cat, I've seen high voltage and environments, but you know, they run nine thousand at most. You know, fourteen hundred on the plate, and basically no bias. You know, the grids are grounded. Um, you know, you can. S it's my schematic here. Grids are grounded. You know, uh, grounded grid runs it through the cathode. There's no bias in the cathode. It basically grounds the cathode when it keys it up, and it has the 1,400 volts on the plate on at all time. Now, normally I would think that that's a mistake, but again, it's got 1,800 volts worth of capacitors. So I'm like, eh, 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 eh. I don't know. Um, so any and those schematics or nothing else can be found. So even though I ran, um, made my own schematic. I'm not sure that voltage is right. And again, if you look at the um, leads for the power transformer, it's only got four leads, no center tap, no nothing else, unless somebody cut it off or broken off. And it looks like they've been arced. And somebody put some um, black dope on there, which is, uh, you know, like an arc stopper. Um, they look bad. They look burned. They look burnt. And somebody mentioned the soldering on the... Um, that mystery amp I did the other day. I'm like, man, that mystery amp don't look bad. Look at the soldering hack job on this. I haven't tried to fix it or correct it or go through it yet. This is the keying circuit. Because once I saw that 1400 volts, I stopped right there. Um, I may uh, redo that voltage doubler into a regular full way bridge. That way to get my volts down to about... Um, I don't know about eight which is normal but you know at voltage doubler those diodes and in there they look factory right but somebody sure hacked that up look at the that soldering job there look at the solder burns and and all that now that's that's bad soldering right there I think somebody went through it or was playing with it or trying to get it to work or whatever because you know that's factory I haven't touched up any of that but Look at that crap. Yeah, I kind of regret this one. I'll probably put it on the shelf and sleep on it in a while. Unless I can find a schematic or um, somebody can give me some information that I don't have. Like, what's the voltage supposed to run on on this amp? Is it an LR6? You know, it's so little information on this thing. So, hey help me out with this little crazy thing and uh, maybe I'll pull it out and get back to it one day but again project number 1293 okay that's it for this new Alenko I'll update you when I uh, get back to it if I get back to it anytime soon bye